Okay, let's take a look at our freebie today. This comes from my good friends at DeSafa. Uh, let me get you a link to go check these out. DeSafa is one of my favorite developers. Their design is always awesome. Always awesome. And all that good stuff. This happens to be a collection of what they call ads. Okay, so different sizes for different social media platforms. Again, kind of beautiful design. Uh, I'll let you kind of look through all of those on the page here. Um, and basically, what they are, you've probably seen these kinds of things on your social media feeds all over the place. Video ads, right? And again, beautifully designed. Uh, I like these because I don't have to create them. You know, I don't have to do the design. So it's the design that is always the big kicker and the big problems and right now you can get this thing for like 17 bucks on the launch special okay so that's all well and good that's great I got a freebie for you sweet okay so let's jump over and kinda take a look here let's take a look at what you're gonna get here with this guy here's the freebie I scored for you this happens to be for a gym and one thing I'll make a note of before we press onwards here is that a lot of times with these kinds of templates, what you'll notice is that they are geared for what they call a specific niche or market for a restaurant, for a coffee shop, for a taxi driver. My suggestion is you ignore all of that. None of that matters. Are you a restaurant and maybe you can use this one out of the box? Great. If not, <laughs> what you're looking for here, or what is useful here, is just the design and the look and feel and the animation. The content here really has nothing to do with why I like these or why someone might want to buy them. Okay, I mean, if you make ads for clients, maybe you want to have yourself a you know a weight loss one or something like that, and that's fine and that's great. But don't pin yourself in just because this thing says weight loss that you have to use this template for weight loss you do not <laughs> what you want to do is to find ones that look the way you want and you know are cool in the sense of what you like visually and then don't worry about what the content is okay so that's just something I wanted to point out and stress because a lot of people have given me feedback that, well, I don't need templates on restaurants or this stuff. It, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's work on that premise. So that being the case, here's what you're going to get. Let's go here. Google Ads. And they come in different sizes. The JPEG folder here will give you a static view of what they look like and Again, the reason these are good for ads is because they're all properly sized for these different kinds of media. These are for Google Ads. Okay, and you can, you know, just preview the static images. And then we'll open up in PowerPoint in just a minute. Uh, so Google Ads and Social Media Ads. So look again, we'll look at the static images. Okay your standard one by one aspect ratio the tall Instagram and then also a regular widescreen 720p version okay so I'm gonna go through a couple of tips and points here real quick and this will kinda help us maybe modify PowerPoint templates in general so I like templates I don't like to do all the design work and yes we can go through and very easily change all of this stuff you know shape fill blah 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 that's not rocket science we can change the text we can do all of that what we're mostly interested in is this image and you know maybe whether or not to have certain elements on it but here's kind of the thing that I'm gonna start with first I'm gonna click the star here to preview this animation okay it's nice I like it and then everything goes away right this drives me insane I don't know why these developers always do this and in fact maybe you guys can give me some feedback if you saw an ad 
and I'll just use the GIF preview of this as an example. So let's say you're on social media and here we are we're you know watching this and this is what we see on the feed. Okay that looks good. I'll let, what, and, and it goes away and then it comes back in. It goes away, comes back in. To me I don't know that this makes a good ad practice. Right? So for me all it is is really annoying and distracting at some point. It doesn't really give me time to take the action that they want me to take. What I want is for it to animate in, get that eye-catching factor, right? And maybe the guy, you know, he continues to kind of drift a little. The book now continues to flash. So, you know, maybe there's some animation that still happens, but nothing flies out. Okay, so let's stop that. <laughs> let's stop that from happening in this particular case. So I'm going to go to the animations pane. Let's go to animations, open up the animations pane. And here is basically the culprit. All of these exit animations down here, all the red stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'll go ahead and make a duplicate and I'll hide the original. Hide slide. I go down here and I'm going to delete all of this stuff. I'm going to delete it. Okay? And now, if I go into slideshow mode, this is what I get. Everything's still kind of going a little bit. I had that eye-catching impact, you know, and I'm good to go. Right? So at this point, what I could do is I would go to File, export, go ahead and create a video, and then decide how long I want the video to be. Okay, the animations are all going to happen, and how long do I want it to stay? So maybe I want this to be 15 seconds. So what's going to happen, we can kind of mimic it here, create video and kick it out, but if I go into slideshow mode, basically by setting that to 15 seconds, it's going to do all the animations, what it just did, and then it's going to sit here. Maybe some stuff flashes or zooms in and out a little bit for 15 seconds. Okay, and that's my video ad. Right, so that's kind of the scoop there. And then let's take a look at one other thing real quick. The other thing we might want to swap out is, of course, the image here. Okay, so I'm going to click on the image. And let's go to the selection pane. Let's go to the selection pane. Okay, we'll notice that it is a picture placeholder. And it is at the bottom, the bottom layer of all of this stuff. Right? So, as we probably know, to replace a picture placeholder is really easy. I'm just going to hit the delete key. I'm going to click the little icon here and we're going to pick us a new picture. Maybe a dog with a hat. Now when you replace a picture placeholder it puts it at the top so we need to bring this back down to the bottom. Okay and then we can crop if we want and maybe move move it over a bit you know and, and line it up pretty much however we want. There we go. Okay. All well and good. But again, it's uh, just kind of nice. The designs are great. I like them quite a bit. Different formats, so you don't have to screw around with that. Any questions on those? Oh, let me give you the link to the freebie. And here's your template set. It's actually got a bunch of variety in there. Let me give you one other tip here. I think all of the templates have animation to them. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to open up one more. Let's open up in the PowerPoint. Maybe the uh, tall one. So let's say I want to use this as just a static image. Right? Well, they've all got animations to them. Alright, well, what I want is just a static image. So I could go in, I could make all my changes just like I did, you know, before. Uh, let's see. 
Let's find that guy. Okay, delete it. Find us a new picture. And you can also send this to the back. Okay, so now I'm all set there. To export this as a static image, all you really have to do is once you make your modifications, you go to File, Save As, Browse, and instead of saving it as a PowerPoint presentation or kicking it out as a video, what you do, let's give it a name, you save it as an image file. Uh, click Save. Let me put it in my test directory. We'll click Save. And we want to export just this one. Okay, and now I have me a beautiful, really just, just gorgeous, static banner image. Nice, right? Easy peasy. All right, that's what I got for everybody. Any questions before we wrap her up?